All right, we're still scrubbing and scuffing and buffing and sanding, welding. It's coming along. Scuffed all this back here. This is a lot of work. Still a lot of more work to do. We are on a tight, tight schedule to get this done and get it ready. All right, so the car is supposed to be picked up, but we have a problem. What's up everybody, welcome back. We're at the Ultimate Paint Shop. We've been spending some time prepping the Miata, getting it ready for paint. And it's now time to lay down some primer. So this is a great example for you detailers out there to see kind of the behind the scenes, all the different layers that go into the paint process, talking behind the scenes with the guys. You know, it's not just start spraying paint. You, you, you spray your primer and then you come in and spray your paint behind it. There's steps in between all of these sprays that we're gonna do and the color that we're gonna do here, which is the crystal red metallic, it's a pearl color. So there's multiple layers that have to go into this. So we're gonna go through and show you step by step on how we get this thing ready for paint. Finally, the Miata is going to get painted. This is so exciting and thank you for everyone who's been following along with this build. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't entered yourself into winning this car yet, check in the description below and click on the link and get yourself entered. In the previous videos, you guys saw us prepping the car for paint. This is the most important part when it comes to getting a quality paint job. We filled any dents, we smoothed out the panels and sanded and scuffed all the surfaces so that the paint can stick properly to the panels. We're almost ready to lay down some paint, but there's a few steps left before we can see the color. Right, I'm just gonna scuff down here a little bit, this black, just to make sure it's gonna stick to the primer. And then I do have a small rust spot in the back. I'm gonna probably grind down. It's a little one. Probably gra grab a grinder and I'm gonna grind it real quick. tape. Just want to remove the wheels so I can prime this repair, you know, on both sides. How long have you been painting, Francisco? Here, maybe four or five years. Before that, I was at another shop, only prepping though for three years. And then, uh, before that, in high school, they had a thing called Tech Campus. It was like a trade, high school trade school. And uh, we would go uh, junior year and senior year. We would go over there uh, and they had collision repair. And I'll do that for half a day or yeah, half the day. We'll go ahead and wipe it down again. We cover any parts of the car that we don't want to get paint on, and then we wipe down the car with an alcohol water mixture to remove any dust or oils that may be on the surface. We need this thing super clean. First one was just adhesion promoter for the rockers because it has a like chip guard. It's kind of rubbery. And then for the raw metal, we put some uh, soft etch primer to protect from rust. We let this dry and we're going to put the, the primer to build up some material. Yeah, you guys want to start blocking them? Yeah, we could do that. I've never blocked a car before, so. No, okay. Is that, you got a certain technique or way you do it? Uh, yeah, I'll show you. I'll we'll just use this. We have more blocks. This is my favorite one. This is just a black spray can. Okay. I'm gonna put a nice dusty coat. Okay, then we know where the low spots That's are. That's right, it's gonna help us out a little bit. Just because it's so light, it's harder to tell, yeah. you know. And then you would just block it like this. You know? Yeah, this is one of the, probably the Bondo spots, you know? Okay. You can kind of see it, yep. there's a ring. Yep. And I like to just do like an axe, you know? Yeah, how do you know when it's done? When it's uh, I'm gonna make sure everything's all uh, well, nice light gray, gray yeah. yeah okay. So I cut all that down. 
Okay. I'm even gonna feel it. I know this door was, there was no Bondo. Okay. This one was pretty fine, but we're still gonna block it. Um, right, right. This one had a couple of primer spots. And then I'll show you what I will do after. Oops. Another guide coat, yeah. And uh, this is for the scratches now. Okay. The block scratches, and then we're just gonna hit it with the DA, you know. And this just help you to uh, cut the scratches. Right, right. The 240 scratches. Yeah. We're gonna hit it with 400 and uh, 600. That was 400. Now I'll finish it off with 600. And then that's it, yeah. And then we uh, wet sand in here. Okay. Before that though, before we do all this, right. I would like to paint the inside first. Okay. That right, way. So we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, this is gonna be before this is gonna be before we paint the insides. Okay. Uh, the bumpers we can sand. Those are fine. Cause uh when I paint this, I don't wanna sand this, paint this, and then you'll have overspray. Uh, so let's just Got paint it. this and yeah. then we can sand the That makes sense. Yeah. Right. So I repaired this one. There was a bunch of scratch or uh, chips. Okay. Oh, the, on the inside? Yeah, there this one I think I, I didn't get to. I think over there, there's some. Yeah, we got some chips inside here. Yeah, just a little bit, yeah. Those, we just sand smooth. Okay, we yeah. can do that. Okay, um, I'm gonna check on the primer, make sure it got here. I'm gonna mix it. Uh, you just add hardener and uh, reducer. All right, let me start priming this real quick. Hello. What are you standing with? Uh, 240. And then he's going over it with 400. I'm just blocking it down. Where are you? Just started on this. Uh, I think he's cutting in the door jams and these little pieces. I think we're ready to lay down some color. We've just masked off the car. So the plan is to paint the underside of the hood, the trunk lid, and all the jams of the doors and the jams of the car, the color of the car. And then we can hang everything so all that stuff will be painted. And then we'll block everything off together because this is a tri-coat. Everything on the outside has to be painted at the same time so it matches perfectly. So we're gonna do all the undersides and the stuff that is is hard to see or you can't get to by spraying it off the car and then put everything on the car and then spray the entire car. So still a lot of more work to do. Uh, we're cleaning all the jams, getting all the oils and dust and everything off there so it can be sprayed with the color. Wipe faster. It looks like it tastes really good. All right, edge prime time. Before we get to color, we're so close to getting some color on this, but he's got to spray some edge primer on all these bare metal parts right here. Bare metal, sealer, sealer. You need to seal it. Can't just paint over it. Is that actual paint then, or is it just a primer? Just a... Uh, it's, it's like an edge primer. It's uh, to protect raw metal. Okay. All this raw metal. And then I'm gonna put the sealer primer. Okay.
right, the base coat is down, you can see. Next is a pearl essence secondary coat. So it is a mixture of a paint and some clear coat together that will make this glow even more. And that's why they call it a tri-coat because they're gonna do this as the base layer, they do a pearl essence layer, and then clear coat layer. Also right now, if you guys can hear the blower blowing, it is 130 degrees in here baking and drying this paint. Checking for bleed through or any wet spots, anything that's not 100% covered. All right, so that's the first layer of the candy spray that they spray, and I guess you get kind of a choice. I mean, you can put as many layers as you want, and it changes the color, gets it deeper and deeper red as the more coats that you put on it. So we're just going to put two coats on the door jams and everything here, but when we actually paint the body, maybe it'll be three, maybe it'll be four, maybe it'll be five. You know, depending on how many you want to put on, gives it that... I guess the thicker, the difference, that gloss, that's where it comes from. It looks absolutely gorgeous. This is just the door jams. I'm amazed. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. We got the hood, the doors, and the fenders put back on the car, and now we're ready to spray. This is where the magic happens. Okay, friends, here we are. We're getting ready to spray the Miata, get some color on this thing. We're touching up some of the bumpers out there. We're taping everything up, putting some some primer on some spots that we sanded a little too much. So sealer, and then we're gonna start spraying the base color and then the candy, because this is a tri-coat, we're gonna spray multiple layers of this candy until we're happy with what the car looks like. So it is currently uh, nine o'clock at night. We'll be going as late as we can here. We wanna get this thing done. There we are. So we did uh, three layers of candy and then two layers of just regular clear. And it looks fantastic. Uh, there's a couple spots. We're gonna wet sand it when we get it back. It's actually gonna be leaving here in a couple hours. We have the over fenders and the bumper and the convertible top, the hard top to paint still. We'll grab that another time, but we're on such a time crunch that we need to get this back to Chicago Water Pros and start putting in the engine the transmission and everything else, get this interior put back together because we are on a tight, tight schedule to get this done and get it ready to go on the Crown Rally. That is just about two weeks away, so we need to get it done. You can see some over here where we were talking about, I don't know if we'll be able to see this, but if you look really close, you can see a little bit of solvent pop. You can see a lot on this edge here. A little bit of a run right there. So we got some things to uh, fix. This will be all be fixed by sanding we can sand that all out and then buff it down to where it's perfect and then hopefully we'll be uh, putting some clear bra on this whole thing just oh I can't wait to get it back see have all the guys see this oh it's so beautiful it's so deep and rich I can't wait to see it outside too All right, so the car is supposed to be picked up, but we have a problem. It's raining. It's always something. 
So I think the rain is supposed to go through in about an hour or so. Uh, we'll wait for this rain to go through and hopefully we'll have an opening where we can get the car back to Chicago Auto Pros. It's probably about a half hour, uh, 35 minutes from here. All right, I don't know if the rain's gonna stop today. We got a little time here. We got, might have a couple hour window, but um, it's not looking good. So we may have to just get this thing tomorrow, which puts us back yet another day. Uh, I think I'm gonna head out, and do some office work back at Chicago Auto Pros. Cisco just has to paint the bumpers and the two hard tops, and uh, we may just pick this up back at the shop. All right, guys, later. All right. Fingers crossed, no rain.